Hey YouTube, what's up? Blue Witch here. Just wanted to check in with you guys. I haven't been on here in a while and I have been doing a bunch of things out in the shop. And I wanted to share with you a really cool thing that happened at, well it wasn't cool, but it was all right. I handled it, but. So I have an ex boyfriend, kind of, sort of, guy I dated. And he was a witch, and he decided that I was supposed to be with him. And he put a breakup spell on me and my husband. <laughs> and <laughs> he probably should not have done that, because it, well, first it made me really, um, at first I got really bad um, anxiety from it. Because, you know, witches can feel it. We know when somebody's fucking with us. But, anyways, so I got some anxiety from it. And I started being getting really mad at my husband. And then, out of the blue, he started messaging me. After, like, a year of not even hearing anything from him and stuff. But And then, so I did some divination. I did some... Um, anyways, I asked my deities and my spirit guides if somebody would, did a breakup spell, and they said yes, and then I said, was it this person, and they said yes, and I said, I knew it, Whoa. and then I got really mad, and I did a, a return to sender spell, and I... Added a little extra something special just for him. And I was going to go bury it at the crossroads. But I found a beautiful three foot high fire ant hill. Mm-hmm. I did. So, I dug a big hole in it and threw some beans in there for payment. And then I buried the curse in a fire ant hill. And I thought that was pretty genius. So, I just wanted to share that with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So anyways, things are better now. Everything's calm again. Feels good again. Back back to normal, you know. Um, but yes, I there might... I don't know. My husband seems to be going through some stuff. So he might have something attached to him. It was attached to both of us. I broke it off of me. And I'm thinking he might need to do... A cleansing bath so when he gets home this weekend I will have him do that but in the meantime I just been kind of tidying up oh and I wanted to give you an update on the court case thing that we did um remember that I said that I wanted him to be exposed for what was really going on and all that good stuff well when they got to court um, he flipped out on the judge and the, and my client just couldn't believe it. She just was like, you know, shocked because he like lost his cool and yelled at the judge and, um, the judge had told him that he was going to postpone their case and that, um, it wasn't considered a priority and that their mediators and stuff were only taking cases on priority. And since he's already been in there numerous times over the last four years, that he wasn't a priority and that his what he wanted to talk about wasn't a priority and that he needed to learn to work things out with my client, like in a civil manner. And he like lost his shit and yelled at the judge and um, 
So yeah, he was exposed. Oh, and the love spell, I'll give you an update on that. I think I posted it out on YouTube, yeah? Yeah, I did. So the love spell one, um, very successful. Um, my client that I was doing that for is, um, they're in communication and um, they video chat all the time. And he is um, moving back. Oh, I did the road opener thing. That was a little rough on him. I feel bad for him because um, they sold his house. He was renting. And he was almost lost his job. He got broke off from all of his ties in the place that he was at. All of the things that were holding him there got broken off. And so he um, he will be moving back to where my client is in June or July. I can't remember what she said. But so yeah. So everything worked out great. And um, ant heels are an awesome thing to bury your curses in. So I will... Talk to you later. I have some new spells that I'm going to be working on, but I just wanted to give you guys an update and check in with y'all. So peace out and have a fucking awesome day.